The Hollyland Mars 400S Pro is a wireless video transmission system that's quite capable of a variety of use cases. What you get in the box is a dedicated transmitter and receiver, an instruction booklet, five antennas with one being a spare, and one AC adapter that's usable with either the transmitter or the receiver. We should start by saying how versatile the power options are on these devices. You can power either the transmitter or the receiver via USB-C, like a battery bank, via the Sony L-Series battery mount, or via the DC adapter plug-in. Video inputs and outputs on the units are just as versatile. You can take either an SDI or an HDMI input and output SDI or HDMI on the receiver as a start. It will even transcode an SDI signal to HDMI on the receiver, which is, again, a real benefit here. I've been using 5600 milliamp hour L-series batteries, and that seems that it'll run both the receiver and the transmitter for several hours each. The Mars 400S Pro can either transmit to two receivers, one receiver and two smart devices running the Hollyview app, or simply four smart devices alone running the app. I started by testing the range claims, which are 400 feet for the receiver or 300 feet for a smart device running the app. The range claims are easily met with line of sight and will still go hundreds of feet with some obstructions. The primary use case I can think of where this would be useful would be time lapses where you could leave the camera and then monitor the camera remotely from another building or say a vehicle. The receiver has a very good indicator on the OLED screen of the signal quality as well, so you'll know when you're getting close to the limits of that range. For mounting, there's a shoe adapter as well as a standard one quarter screw mount on the bottom. For other distant use cases, the USB-C port has some additional functionality. Essentially, you can use it as a remote live streaming camera from the receiver, which gives you some more flexibility on adding it as a live stream to your switcher via the network or via direct video input will give you a nice 12 megabit 1080p 60 frames per second stream. I was really excited to try the app since I could see myself setting up multiple tablets or phones as an output option. The first thing I needed to do was load a LUT for my Blackmagic Cinema camera. The way this works is that you want to add a LUT to Google Drive and then open that LUT in the Hollyview app. This will then show the LUT as a selectable option from the 3D LUT in the lower right hand corner. The next big question was latency. Hollyview claims 80 milliseconds, which is observable here. That's around four frames of latency at 60 hertz, which is good for its intended use cases. I've had no issues getting accustomed to the slight delay on the output, even for focusing. You wouldn't want to use this to transmit FPV video to a pilot, but if you had the camera strapped to the hood of a car to review driving footage, that would be a more ideal use case for this type of device. I bring this up since one of the downfalls of the original Blackmagic Cinema camera was the inconvenient location of the screen for almost all tasks. And the Mars 400S Pro really made me start using this camera again since it made the SDI output now more convenient since I could output HDMI on the other end or simply use the app like I'm doing here. Next up is fan noise. The transmitter and receiver both come in auto mode, which has fan noise significantly quieter than the Blackmagic Cinema camera or a Red Epic, so autos work fine for me. However, if the noise is an issue, you can turn the fan completely off, and I really haven't seen that affect either the transmitter or the receiver in any of my testing so far. Some other notes on setup. The app is very nice in that it remembers the last Wi-Fi setting, and it'll prompt you on start to reconnect to the transmitter. It's extremely seamless. Navigation of the menus and channels is well thought out as well. And going back to power options, I've used all three extensively. DC input is well placed. The L mount is as well. And it's really nice being able to use a standard USB-C power pack in a pinch. The transmitter uses around 11 watts and the receiver uses around seven watts. So you'll easily be able to power both for hours. Since your iPad is just connecting via Wi-Fi, you could potentially have a client with the ability to sit and watch all day from a different room basically without any fuss. The video quality at 12 megabits is easily good enough for focusing and there are focus tools on the app to help as well. Generally on the iPad screen, it simply looks broadcast quality as a live preview. If you were using this as a live streaming device, I think you would be very happy with the 1080p signal. On stability, I've not had one issue so far on dropping the stream or dropping the Wi-Fi. Just like the aluminum build quality and picture quality, the Mars 400S Pro has yet to disappoint, and I think it's an excellent value for the 649 MSRP. If you have any more questions, just 
post them down in the comments below and I'd be happy to help answer them.